WebDriver.io supports Cucumber through the WebDriver.io Cucumber Framework module. We'll take a look at that in the next lesson, but first I want to provide a brief background on Cucumber and why you might want to use it. Code doesn't always make the clearest documentation. This is especially true for those who may be less familiar with programming concepts, such as project managers or business executives. This means that if you're working on a team with less programming-oriented people, there will likely be a need for separate documentation describing what your automation code covers. Cucumber aims to solve this need by merging the test specification and the test code into a cohesive whole. It does this through a unifying syntax that can be read both by people and computers. With this syntax, several goals are made. Cucumber aims to improve collaboration across the team's skill sets. It also hopes to help the folks writing the code to keep the overall business goals in mind, thereby making the test more useful. One other benefit is that Cucumber and its Gherkin syntax is supported by a wide range of programming languages. For example, say you have a legacy test suite written in Java but implemented in Cucumber. When you move those tests over to WebDriver.io, you'll likely be able to keep the majority of the features as is, customizing only the given when then steps. As you may not know what features and given when then steps are, let's take a look at a quick example. Features are business readable living documentation that are written in the Gherkin syntax. They let you describe test behavior without detailing how that behavior is implemented. A Gherkin file should only contain a single feature, which may contain multiple scenarios. Here, the first line starts the feature. The next couple of lines are basically comments, which are expected to describe the business value of this feature. Lines 5 and 6 define the background steps to run for every scenario. Lines 8 through 10 are the steps for the specific scenario to be validated. After that, we'd start with the next scenario and so on. Cucumber scenarios consist of steps, also known as givens, whens, and thens. Cucumber doesn't technically distinguish between these three kinds of steps but it's strongly recommended that you fit the right term to the right step. The purpose of givens is to start in a known state before interacting with the system in the when steps. Here, we're navigating to the homepage of our site. You could also use this time to prepare a database or set up a specific user type. Next is the when steps, which describe the key action or actions the user performs. In this example, we're defining a step that allows the user to click or double click a link, button, or element. Cucumber steps can be written in such a way that common actions can be grouped together in a single step definition. We'll look at how that's done in a later video. Once all your when steps are completed, you'll write your then steps, which are used to observe the outcome of your scenario. These observations should be related to the business value in your feature description. They should also be based on some output of the site, like a message or interface element. There are two special keywords to mention, and and but. To Cucumber, they are exactly the same kind of steps as all the others. Use them solely to make your test more readable as documentation. Before moving on to the usage inside WebDriver.io, I want to mention a couple of drawbacks I see with Cucumber. First is that it adds another layer of abstraction. This means that you will need to interpret that layer between the Gherkin syntax and the WebDriver.io commands. Because of this, if you're working solo on a test suite, Cucumber may not be worth the extra effort involved. Secondly, Cucumber does require programming skill. There is a fantastic set of boilerplate steps for WebDriver I.O. already written, and we'll get into those next. But you will likely need to write your own steps for any custom usage needs you have. I say this to caution against folks using Cucumber solely to avoid programming. If you want to write test automation, you will need to understand programming concepts and code. With all that said, let's next take a look at the WebDriver.io Cucumber Boilerplate Project.